So welcome again. Uh, we're meeting now for exercise eight. So we need to check whether a string is palindrome or not using a stack. So they're telling us that a string is a word or a phrase that um, has a property that the reading is the same in either direction. So it's either it reads from left to right or right to left. It's the same. For example, madam, dad, or radar are all um, palindrome. So. For example, let's take madam, and how can we check if it's palindrome? So, usually, if we're, new, if we're not using uh, uh, stacks, so we would uh, use two counters, so one that starts from the beginning, beginning and uh, a second one that starts from uh, the end and going backward, and then we check at each time, for example, t of i and t of j, so this is j, this is i, and if they are uh, equal so we move i one step and we move backward j one step and once if, if it's everything goes correctly so if uh, one character is not equal to the second one so directly so it's not a palindrome and when i crosses j in the middle here it means that the word or the phrase is palindrome but how can we solve this problem using stacks so if you check my website or the page of this exercise, you can find multiple solutions. However, I will stack with the second solution. So, I have madam. So, forcibly, um, we, we have the string. So, we need to push some elements in the stack. So, the first solution in the, uh, on the website is to push all the elements of the uh, stack in the stack. So, this is the last element. And then I will take the first element from the stack, I'll top and pop it, and then check it with the first one. So if it's equal, I will say yes, yes, yes. So when the stack finishes and the string finishes, it means that the uh, string is palindrome. However, let's do it more economically, and let's see what we can do. So we know this is a string, and let's... Uh, and uh, strings in C are an array, so the index are like this. So the length of this string is equal to 5. So what I need to do is to put half of these elements in this stack. So half, it means two elements. So what I will do is that I will push M, I will push A. So, and after that, so this is element 1 and this is element 2, or the index 1. 0 and index 1. So, what happens here is that, what should I do with the D? So, D is the element number 2. So, obviously, I should work, since I've pushed half of the element, I should work on the rest and the resting elements. But since we are dealing with uh, odd numbers here, so we need to skip this one. So, what I will say is that the length and I will add plus 1. So here I will start from index 2 plus 1, index 3. So I will skip this one. And then I will check A with A and M with M. So just let's see what happens if, for example, I have this word. So here the length is equal to 4. So 4 over 2, it means I will deal, I will push two elements. So two elements, it means 0, it means M. Um, and a so 0 1 2 3 and then i will start with 4 over 2 plus 1 it means 2 over 2 plus 1 it means 2 plus 1 here so it means three. so i will start with the third element so let's see how we could uh, solve this once we are the uh, solving the exercise so here let me erase so, we'll be using char as in stacks, not integers. So, we'll be keeping the same uh, uh, implementation of the stack. So, we'll be reading a string, and then we will check if the string is a palindrome, yes or not. So, what we'll do, we'll try to use one stack. So, stack s. So, we'll initialize the stack, create stack. And after creating, we will try to loop over half of the string. So in order to loop half of 
uh, of the string i need to check the length of the string so we can either loop and to reach the backslash zero or you can include string dot h and uh, call the function strlang. so we need length int length and we'll say that length is equal to strlang of str so knowing that so i will loop over half of the string and push it in the uh, stack so i need an integer also a counter so we start i from zero i less s of length length over two i plus plus and what i will do is that i will push the element so i will push in s the element str of i or you can do star str and increment the pointer so let's call here the function print stack to see what's happening And let's say return zero in all cases just to check what's happening so let's run a push so it's capital we don't have push so push is it's a capital p push so let's run let's say i'll enter madam so in the stack we have numbers so let's go up and print here c run madam so we have m and a now in the stack so let's continue so what we will do now is that we will loop from on the rest of the uh, stack on the rest of the uh, string so we need to continue from i but i should start from length over 2 plus 1 so either we can keep the i and use another counter or we can start from i equal the length over 2 plus 1 and then we reach till we can reach till str of i different than 0 or we can reach till i less than length you can choose the condition that you want i plus plus and then what we will do is that we compare so if the character string is equal to the top element so i need to take the top element here so i will check top of s equal address of e so we need element element e and then if i will pop so not to forget address of s and if both elements are correctly i will continue so if both elements are not equal i will directly return a zero so as long as this one is correct i will keep on going and once i finish i return one it means that everything is correct let's check it now if it works so madam so yes, madam is palindrome. Let's see that. So, okay, mom, it will work. So let's see M A A M. What will we do? Mom is not palindrome. So what, what? What's the problem here? The problem is that we are uh, uh, skipping one of these elements. So let's again print the uh, stack here after pushing and see how can we remedy this issue so imam will have m and a and then we'll start from m so the problem here in this is that we are starting from length over 2 plus 1 length over 2 mam is 4 4 over 2 is 2 plus 1 it means 3 we will start from index 3 so we'll start from 0 1 2 3 we'll start from m m is obviously not equal to 
a so what we will do here we'll see we'll say that if the length modulo 2 if it's, if it's even equal equal to 0 we'll try to do length minus minus it's not a good solution however we need to decrement uh, the counter here in order to work so let's run it again man so is a palindrome let's again uh, let's remove this print stack let's run madam to see if it works and yes it works so this is the case just for the uh, cases where the number of elements is even and if you do the solution you make sure that you don't loop over length so this is it for this exercise if you have any questions do not hesitate to send it to me and again thanks for watching